Good evening. I'd like to call the October 4th, 2023 town board meeting to order. Ms. Marco, would you please call the roll? Mr. Christou? Present. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Present. Mr. Dotson? Present. Mr. Mastriani? Present. And Mrs. Collins? Present. Five present. Thank you, Ms. Marco. A quorum is present. Lieutenant Collins, would you like to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? <coughs> the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Actually, <coughs> actually Brenda, you can read, we meant to put it on that table, just okay. in case anybody else needs to use it. Yeah, you need to use the Russian lady, the key's over here. We'll now open the privilege of the floor. Ms. Marco, is there anyone who wishes to speak? Well, I didn't get my little clipboard. I'm sorry. I will go get it. Sorry. Is there anybody in the audience that did not sign up to speak under privilege of the floor but would like to speak under privilege of the floor? You guys, my name is Brenda Rotterdam, would give me at least an extra two or three minutes to discuss things that are that are of importance. I know you got the four minute rule, but there's nobody here. <coughs> All right, again, I will be talking about Viaport, Water District 5, and the the Aqua Center. They they go in hand in hand with each other. Uh, according to the article that I have here for July 17th, right now they've gotten close to $3 million of, um, of help through Santa Barbara and through the ARPA. Uh, a question that was asked was if the town board would be having any discussions about providing funds for the aquatic center. Collins said it's possible that lawmakers may have a discussion but more details need, needs to be known. Why in God's name would we even think of giving them some money from the town of Rotterdam? Viaport, they're doing okay. They, they, they um, from, from what I've read, they received, I call it a tax break, you guys can call it an incentive. For 10 years, $3 million each year. So why would we even, even consider giving funds to this uh, aquatic place when um, I don't know why. Um, District 5. I, I, I going to have a lot of issues with Water District 5 with what you guys are planning on doing. Um, God, excuse me, I'm not exactly the greatest organizer. Um, our, you guys are looking at that $5 million grant and that's the only thing you guys are looking at. And Mr. Dobson said in the paper that, and this paper was put out yet, yesterday, excuse me, that the town lawmakers authorized up to 35, 34 million in borrowing. Up to. You have led us for months saying that you're going to be borrowing 34, not up to, but 34. Town residents in District 5 may see up to $150 increase in their January bill. <coughs> Has the town pursued any help from the county, from the state, the five million, which you didn't get last year because something something wasn't right with that with that with that um, with that application. You're not going to tell us the truth. I kind of know what the truth is. How about federal grants? 34 million. 34 million. I know to you people it's not a big deal. You just mortgaged the District 5 people. You just mortgaged us. Viaport. I know you don't want to hear this anymore. And, I, and, I, and I'm sorry. 
Here's a lease, guys. I hope you read the lease. I hope you read the lease. Because the quarter of a million dollars at this town, we didn't get, we didn't get a chance to vote on it. The, the, the people didn't get, get a chance to say, hey, that's a good idea. In the lease. We don't owe money, Mr. Master Ernie, for rent. I don't know, four bucks are all right. Um, that money rent started upon our commencing to be in there. I don't know, have you seen, have you seen Kmart? They had that money there for, from, from December of 2000, 2021. They have not done anything there to get ready for us guys, for you guys, to go over there. So I don't know where you come up with 7.3 months of rent. We owe them nothing. In your resolution, you guys' resolution, for the security deposit, it states, read your resolution, we want the $1 million back plus any occurred interest. Any interest that they had on that money, we were to get back. And that didn't happen. Um, you guys talk about how transparent you guys are, but you're not. And I hate to tell you this, the people really, maybe they don't show up to these meetings. And you know why they don't show up to these meetings? I'll tell you why. Because they know none of you guys are being honest with us. None of you up here are being on. Mr. Cousteau, I thank you for not voting for the $34 million project. I appreciate that. But none of you are honest. And not only does it carry on in, in, in the federal, in, in, in the government stuff here, it's also out there in the private sector where they're not honest with people. And I think the people at this point are really, really fed up. You, 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 you owe us an honest explanation. Not the explanation, not the explanation, Mr. Dobson, about why we are doing the $40, $34 million project. Not that, that, that's a song and a dance, and you're dancing around the whole thing, and you're making it. So we really don't understand what you guys are talking about. I know how you guys work. I know how politicians work. And I'm sorry if I'm picking on you, but you're the one that made the comments four times. And one was on YouTube, which got cut out. And I appreciate you giving me a couple extra minutes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak but didn't sign up? Okay. Then a close privilege of the floor. Move on to resolutions. Our first resolution is Resolution 306 of the year 2023. The clerk will read. Presentation by the town clerk of the 2024 tentative budget to the town board. Okay. Is there any discussion? This is for Thank you. This is what you have to do. It's homework. It's Uh, on resolution 307.2, on resolution 306.23, is there any discussion? Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Mr. Dobson. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Second by Mr. Mastriani on the question. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Christou? Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Dobson? Yes. Mr. Mastriani? Yes. And Mrs. Collins? Yes. Five yes. Resolution passes. Resolution, our next resolution is Resolution 307 of the year 2023. The clerk will read. To amend Resolution 279.23 of the year 2023 to approve JCAP 2023-2024 grant for the Justice Court. Is there any discussion? I'll make the motion. A motion by Mr. Chris Do. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Ms. Miller Herrera. On the question, clerk will call the roll. Mr. Chris Do. Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Dotson? Yes. Mr. Mastriani? Yes. And Mrs. Collins? Yes. Five yes. Resolution passes. Our next resolution is Resolution 308 of the year 2023. The clerk will read. Authorize an agreement with Prime AE for professional engineering services related to a leak detection survey for the Water District Number 5. Okay. Is there any discussion? Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Mr. Dotson. Do I'll I have second a the motion. Second by Mr. Christou. On the question? Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Christou? Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Dotson? Yes. Mr. Mastriani? Yes. And Mrs. Collins? Yes. Five yes. Resolution passes. 
Our last resolution that we added during the agenda session is resolution 309 of the year 2023, the clerical read. To schedule budget workshop sessions for the 2024 tentative budget. Okay. Is there any discussion? Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Mr. Dotson. Do I have a second? I'll second it. As seconded by Ms. Miller Herrera on the question. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Christou? Yes. Mrs. Miller Herrera? Yes. Mr. Dotson? Yes. Mr. Mastriani? Yes. And Mrs. Collins? Yes. Five yes. Resolution passes. And that concludes our resolutions for this evening. Does any, do any of the board members have anything that they wish to say under liaison? Do any of our members have anything they wish to say under miscellaneous? Um, under miscellaneous, I just want to thank the board for sitting down and hashing out some dates for the budget workshops. This is a tough time of year, especially for those of us who have little kids going in a million directions, and I appreciate uh, our ability to sit down and work it out this year. Uh, the Rotterdam Fall Festival, October 12th, 5 to 8. I would like to make this uh, an announcement that uh, for the people in Rotter well, Rotterdam Junction, there's going to be an information, public information session uh, on October 19th at 6.30 at the Rotterdam Junction Volunteer Firehouse. Uh, Prime AE will be on site to provide information and answer any questions for the um, lead service line inventory survey. And the other thing I'd like to say is, as far as the Aqua Center going uh, down to Viaport, um, a lot of times the press will ask me a question when they read about the Aqua Center being put in there and the fact that they had gotten money from the city of Schenectady and they might withdraw their money and everything. And the question was posed to me, would the town board, you know, discuss this? And I said, well, yeah, it could be. Had any of the board members come up uh, during the agenda session or prior to a meeting and said, I would like to discuss, you know, not giving money to them, giving money to them, whatever they wanted to discuss. I felt it's my responsibility to keep that open to the other board members. So sometimes when I make a statement like that where, you know, no, we have no plans right now of, of funding it in any way, but I have four other people that helped me to govern the town of Rotterdam, and if one of them had brought it up and wanted to discuss it, uh, had put forth a resolution, it would be either voted for or against, but I'm not the sole decision. So when I'm asked the question, sometimes I have to answer it honestly, and that if another board member decided that they wanted to bring it up, it would be discussed. Doesn't mean we're doing it, but I feel they have the right to have a discussion and possibly a resolution. Does, does the public have a right, if you guys decide to put this in the resolution and decide to do something like that, would the people in Rotterdam have a say in it? Because you guys, you guys up there represent Rotterdam. You don't represent Viaport, you don't represent Aquatic, you don't represent whatever, you represent us. And I feel people here should be able to express themselves. If they can't come to a meeting, somehow, some way, they need to have the right to say where their money is going, like the quarter of a million that we didn't have a say in. <coughs> and I will keep bringing that up every two weeks because we should know that Rotterdam was wrong in doing that. And Rotterdam did not ask the, 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 the Rotterdam people how they felt about it, and if they have, this is why you don't have the attendance, because they know their town officials are not listening to them. They know that. Well, if if the town board was ever going to take up that as a motion, or if a board member was going to raise it as a motion, it would be at a public meeting, which would be noticed. It would be on the agenda. There are multiple ways for people to participate with their expressed feelings about whatever resolution or action the board's being taken. Whether you can come to a meeting or not, you can always write in um, by email, by letter, uh, your comments or what you feel about a resolution that's being put on. And that's the public say, is showing up or writing in your comments about how you feel about something that's being proposed on the agenda so that this board can know that Yes, there is public backlash on this, or yes, people are in support of it. That's that's how the public opinion would be expressed if that was taken up by this board. But like any of these meetings with these resolutions, that's the opportunity for the public to present their their opinion to the board on what's being proposed. Thank you. And we're speaking out of turn. 
this town board has been extremely receptive to every resident that has gone up to that podium, emailed them, showed up at a meeting. I don't think it's fair for you to say that to this board. They're very approachable. And They're very open to the needs of the, the town residents. I just ask that we, I understand that you might have an opinion about other people's speech, but I just would ask that we all respect each other, whether we agree with what each other is saying or not. It's not the place to air it out, I think. Thank you, though. Is there anything else that anyone wishes to say under miscellaneous? Okay, then that concludes our business for tonight. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Okay, motion by Mr. Dodson, second by Mr. Chris Dew. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.